Thanks for watching Rocket City Motors. Make sure to check out the video description for part numbers, kit part numbers, and related information regarding this video's content. If the video helped you, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button for me. Thanks for watching. To remove the pin from the drive shaft, I used a small pick and a hammer. Once I got the pin flush with one side, I could then stick the pick in here and then tap on it with a hammer and push it the rest of the way. Once you've removed the roller pin from the top of the drive shaft, the next thing we need to do is remove the impeller housing. You do that by removing four screws from the top of the housing. Once you have the four screws removed, you can simply lift up. You may have to twist a little bit. Lift it up over the top of the drive shaft and your impeller housing should come off looking something like this. This piece, the inside piece may come off as you slide up the drive shaft. Inside this metal housing is the impeller. You'll want to get your new impeller now and replace it. Your new impeller may have straight blades, so you may have to take a kind of a twisting motion, clockwise twisting motion to get it inside the housing. Once you have the impeller back in the metal housing simply slide the metal housing back into the plastic top housing and what I like to do you can see that the impeller is keyed I like to move the key to the front of the plastic housing so this is the front the front is this side the back is where your water uh, inlet shaft is so this is the back side, this is the front side. I like to move that slot to the front in between these two bolts. And the reasoning is, if you look on the drive shaft, there is a little metal key here that can be removed. And this key is gonna slide down into that shaft or this slot and that's gonna, it's, that, that allows the drive shaft to catch the impeller and make it spin. So once you have the new impeller installed, I like to move that key to the forward end of the lower unit so that whenever I slide the assembly back down, it'll line up. One quick note is this rubber gasket here on this metal piece looks good so I'm going to keep it but if yours does not look good or it tears up whenever you're removing the housing you'll need to replace that so once you get that aligned and you got everything squared away slide the entire assembly back over the top It should click on down. Now replace the fasteners. Once you have the impeller housing reassembled, we're going to put the drive shaft key back into place. Once you have the drive shaft key into place, you're ready to reinstall the lower unit.